Jason, Luff Engineering, what is it you do here? We're a subcontract machine shop here in Wolverhampton, uh, machining, CNC machining, cast iron, aluminium, st stainless steel, bit of acetal, anything really. And your latest acquisition, the Grob G350, uh, it's fair to say, as good as this machine is, the work holding is equally as important. What did you go for? We ended up going for a Microlock Series mm -hmm. 75 system, uh, which was new to me. Again, saw, saw it on an MTD uh, video. Was considering another work holding system, which was uh, didn't give me the same, had offer the same versatility. Got in touch with Microlock and found them very helpful, easy to deal with. A um, couple of days later, the kit turned up, and um, uh, we, here we are today. And you know, obviously, been using it some time now. You know, how do, how do you feel it's gone? How do you find, uh, how do you find the system? Very good. I've only set one job up on it so far. Um, wanted to prove out the process, so haven't added any other additional vices at this time. But we do many, many components which lend itself to being uh, held in that system. So you, are you planning to get more vices to offer more parts? Definitely. The spindle? Yes. Um, quite possibly, we might end up buying um, a second base for the other pallet as well. Um, not all of our work lends itself to being held like that. There are some bespoke fixtures, but uh, a big chunk mm. uh, we can now hold in vices. So looking at this particular application, obviously we got overhang. How does it cope with this? Yes, um, I was uh, a little apprehensive about holding the piece like that. Um, but with a fixed serrated jaw um, and a machinable jaw, we haven't had any, any real issues with it. Um, haven't necessarily optimised the machining process yet, being a little bit cautious, but so far so good. So just a couple more questions. How, how many parts could you potentially get on, on, on this if you were, if you were to uh, offer more parts to the spindle? Uh, potentially eight parts per pallet. Um, I have got enough vices to do that, uh, and that's my aim in, in, the, in the coming weeks to, to add more parts. Uh, and this, you've got other machines here on site, clearly. Would you roll this out you know, on other machines? De definitely, yes. Um, Matt Jenis, um, when he supplied me this kit, because um, he rushed it to me fairly quickly, the, the fixing holes for the base plate didn't match up with my pallet system. But he did offer that it, with more time, and I give him the, the hole centres, he would supply me one that went straight on. So you appear very happy, Jason. For engineers watching this video and potentially thinking about Microlock, or, you know, what advice could you give? Certainly look into it seriously. Um, it wasn't one that I'd heard of that much before, um, but when I knew I needed a, a new work holding system, um, I thought this, this one offered me the most versatility. Uh, and as you pointed out, I can get more than, more than one part per pallet.